Hello everyone, welcome to Down and Dirty. I'm Larry, and today we're going to install DCS lock lights and grill lights in the LJ. So uh, we'll get started here, we'll get it out of the box, see everything we have, uh, and we'll just go from there. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's get this uh, these unboxed here. Be careful not to cut through too far. Wires in here. All right, again, these uh, lights are all from uh, DCSLighting.com. You can go there, check out their lighting setups. Right here we have our grill lights. Grill lights are uh, magnetic and they have a cone around them for uh, directional facing. They have colors marked on them, so I order different colors. These are magnetic. Uh, they're basically sticking the metal trough in front of your radiator. And these are all the ones that are going under in and around the body. We have a couple more magnetic ones here. Body plugs. Pull the plugs out of the body and you just stick those in. And these are threaded. So they're going to uh, go up through a hole. Look at the instructions here and see exactly where everything goes. It's the first time I have seen at all or worked with a TJ or LJ setup so doing an LJ here but it's, a, it's the same kit either way. All right let's get these installed. Okay so here's our grill lights and we're going to point them towards the radiator so they reflect up on the radiator. I'm kind of difficult to show installing them not a lot of room. The grill doesn't come out here so We'll plug them all in together first and feed the harness up through. And what I have here is I have a red, the white, and the blue. The red then won't red on the left. So I'm doing the red, white, and blue lights. You just take your connectors here and plug them together. Make sure they latch in. It's got three of them for your three lights. Like I said, this is all pre wired, ready to go. It's a very easy installation. So we plugged our harness all together. Now we're going to feed our lights through. Feed the harness through and then the lights through. Actually, it's a little entertaining. These things are magnetic, so they're sticking to everything along the way. Metal grill on this uh, LJ here, and the lights want to grab a hold of everything on their way through. You want to keep your lights and your wiring back away from the radiator. Okay, now we're going to feed our wire up through that opening. Like Stick it right up through that hole. Wire all the way up through. Like so. Okay, I want to show where I zip tied the wire. You can see the wire going up through there. Okay, so we got the uh, grill lights installed here. Let's see if we can look in here and take a peek. As you can see, all right, there's the blue one on the right. You see that LED pod sitting in there. I got the wires all tucked in. Nice and neat. We have three of those lights here. Get the white in the middle. And we have red on the left. Okay, now we're under the hood. Right here on the radiator support again, there's this large hole. That's where I zip tied the wire to after it came up from the opening down there where I originally showed where we pulled it through. And I just ran it right along here with the headlight wire. Headlight fog light wiring runs right along the fender well here by the air cleaner. Got it all zip tied up. 
See that wire loom? Ran it under the fuse block where that wire is actually currently ran. And over here by the battery. So that's it for the grill lights. Now we're going to move on to the rock lights. First rock light we're going to install is on the front fenders. We have these existing holes right here in the fenders. This one being right by the air cleaner. The other being right by the reservoir and the horn. So we've got these lights installed next. The light that goes in the fender, front fenders here, are threaded. Use a 916 wrench to tighten up the nut. So we'll stick this up through the hole, put the nut as a washer, put that on. Just be careful tightening it up. This is plastic. Here's our hole in the fender. We're going to stick our light up through that. Wire it through the hole first. Pull it all the way up till the light goes through the hole. Light up through the hole, we're going to put our washer and our nut on. Kind of a slotted hole here. I'm just going to center it. So it feels it's sitting the best. Now, 916 wrench. Snug it. Okay, now I just pulled out for the passenger front fender. I don't know if I mentioned this prior or not, but I ordered red, white, and then blue lights. So, see the little red dot on there? I want the red in the front, the white in the middle, and blue in the back. So, if you ordered, special colored lights, you want to pay attention to that and where you actually wanted them to be. So I pulled this out. We already installed the other front light. It was in the other bag with the red dot in it. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet, so i am bring that up now. Driver side, we'll fish the light up through the hole in the fender. Our light up through the fender, so we're going to put our nut on, washer. This one's far more difficult for you to see. It's behind everything here. But they're both the same. Position the light, just snug it down. That's it. Okay, now we're going to move to the back of the LJ here and we're going to do the wheel well lights and the uh, magnetic light that goes in the back by the fuel tank in the center. So we'll get started on those next. So we're going to need to pull the carpet out. Get back in here. And pull it up enough, you can see right here this rubber plug. That's where we're going to put it. So you can take that rubber plug out. And if you're like me, you still have the plastic wheel wells in there. We're gonna have to poke a hole or drill a hole through that plastic wheel well put our light up through. Try to do this with the camera in here. I don't know. This may not work too well, but. So there you go. Got a hole drilled down through it. So we're going to get a package with blue sticker because we're in the rear now where I want my blue lights. So again, if you've got color coded or colored lights that you want specific areas, make sure you grab the right one before you install it. There's a hole in our wheel well. We'll run our light up through there. wire up through here, we're going to put our washer and our nut on it. It's just going to be like the front fenders. Same thing. Same style of light. There we go. I've got one of the rears installed. This is where the wire came up through the rear wheel well. You tuck your wire. Pull your carpet out, tuck it all the way down underneath if you have carpet. Most people have already took the carpet out. It'd be easy, you don't have to worry about this, but you want to pull this carpet all the way back from the wheel well. Let's get tucked back in behind it. 
And then running across the floor in front of the seat, under the carpet, of course. Still going under the carpet. So come around here behind the driver's seat, on the floor, pass, or driver's floor behind the seat. You got this rubber plug here. I'm gonna cut a slit in that plug and stick the wire through that. That has the small red connectors. There'll be two red connectors. Be wire D. Plug into these two wires and then it has a waterproof connector where it's gonna to connect to the main harness underneath the floor. I already cut a slit in the grommet. I'm gonna reach up from underneath the floor and push this through. Pull it up through the floor, through that grommet. And we just plug these wires together. And go around and get the other side. These are for your rear wheel well lights. Okay, then once you get everything plugged in, you just Put your carpet back down into place. So now we got the wheel well lights are all done. So now we're going to remove this um, drain here, drain plug, and that's where one of our white lights is going to go. Okay, so I got everything all cleaned off. You need to use a putty knife, dig all the sealant off this uh, drain hole plug to get it out it was stuck in there really good for 2005 this thing's in very good shape yet so it's kind of difficult to get that out I finally got it out here's our light that goes in this hole this is a white light from my red white and blue theme see the wires sticking out the side of it that actually protrudes out under the Jeep so you want to stick your light and your wire through at an angle you wire through the opening first and then work it in and push it down and what I always do on things like this is I just spray them down with uh, this regular Windex here. Just helps make it a little more slippery so it slides through easier. Just gonna spray it down with Windex. And then stick it through the whole wire first. And then just push it in. Push it all the way down. It's got a lip on it that'll goes right into the sheet metal to hold it in place. And that's it. Now we can put our carpet back in place here in the back behind the driver's seat. Here's our next white light. We're now on the driver's side. Floorboard. Basically right underneath. Basically underneath the gas pedal, brake pedal here. So I'm gonna get this uh sealant dug off of this one first. And then we'll look underneath so you can see underneath exactly what we're talking about working with here. Never replaced these or removed these drain plugs before. Let's give you an idea of what we're doing. Okay, right here's the drain plug that we are currently removing on the driver's side. Um, right there's the frame rail. So it's on the outboard side of the frame rail. This little tab. You want to bend that tab in and then just push it up. Okay, we're Still on our light in the driver's side floor space where we just took that plug out of. Spray it down with Windex. Again, just make it a little more slippery, make it easier to install. So then they pop right in rather than not having anything on them at all. Stick your wire in first at an angle and then push it down. Just work around it. Don't shove on it in the middle real hard or anything. Just work around the work around the perimeter when you put it in and it'll push right down in there. Passenger side floorboard put in. So that's all the plugs, drain plug lights. Now we're gonna install the rear magnetic light. Came with kit, this is blue. Just wanna stick it right in the middle here. On the gas tank skid. Basically, in line with my trailer hitch to the center. 
I'll put a zip tie on the stud hanging down. Zip tie up my wire. And then we're going to run this along the frame rail to the front, towards the front, to where the plugs just came down behind the driver's seat for the wire for the uh, rear wheel wells and the plug light went in the four plug. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I just ran it up here inside the gas tank, went up over the filler net. And then I'm going to zip tie it up along the inside of the frame rail. So like I said, I just ran it up over the filler net. And then I just ran it up over the uh, fuel line. I'm just going to zip tie it to this existing wire loom here. When I'm doing this, I'll, a lot of times I'll put my zip ties on just loose to get everything on and in place where we're going. I'm going to zip it up tight till everything in position. So this is where we're, we've got uh, one through the floor here for the wheel well lights. This is our one we put in the drain plug and then this is the one I just ran the magnetic light from back behind the fuel tank. So now we get need to get a uh, wire stuck in here that connects all these together. So this is our A, it says rear harness that we need. It just runs along the frame rail. I'm gonna stick it up over the skid blade right now. Just ran that up over the skid. Make sure that it's up above the skid plate, out of harm's way. Right here we have three connectors for these three wires that we have here right now. Our connector with our three plugs. I'm gonna plug in our rear magnetic light there, wheel well lights, and our drain plug light here. Drain hole light, drain plug. Okay, so we have all three of them connected. I don't need to just get all this zip tied up nice and neat. Okay, got everything zip tied up real nice here in the rear. I use one of these uh, sticky pads, used a lot um, in the industry. And I happen to have a few in my toolbox, but uh, these specifically are made by Panduit. You can buy any brand, I'm sure you can buy them Amazon or anywhere else. It's a self-adhesive pad that is made to put a zip tie through it. And it also has screw holes if you need to screw it down if the adhesive pad isn't good enough. But uh, I just cleaned all the bottom of the Jeep off here with the floor off with uh, alcohol like you would anything else that's uh, adhesive. Make sure it stuck, sticks real good and uh, zip tied these wires up because I didn't want them hanging down, dangling around and getting caught on anything and get out on the trail, so. Okay, this is our front driver's side light. Here's the plug. We're running the wire here. So we just did three connectors in the back along the frame rail, right above the skid plate right there now. You need to stick this above the frame rail, between the floor and the frame rail, stick it through there to the other side so we can plug it in. Okay, so here's our plug that we just uh, stuck it over the top of the frame rail. Here's our main one that we're running. So I just need to plug these two together, like so. And I'll get them, uh, get that zip tied up and we'll keep running this forward. It goes all the way up into the engine bay. And now we're on the passenger side. This is a passenger side rock light here. It uh, connects to this connector, just a short one. It's called uh, cable B and it has a rear. Rear means this is where you want to plug this in. The other end goes up under the hood, plugs into the main harness, and will plug into one of the front rock lights. And this needs to go on the inside of the frame rail. I'm just gonna plug it in right here. We're at, simplify this, and then just throw the wire up over the frame rail, and then I'll zip tie it on the inside of the frame rail and 
right up into the engine bay. Okay, the last light to install underneath of here goes, uh, there's two holes right here underneath this large hole. But this light bolts on, it's got a flange, with two holes, camera screws, and nylon not locking nuts. Let's stick the connector up through the hole. Push the wire through. Install a screw in a nut. Oh, put another screw in the nut. All right, so tighten that hardware up. That's our front light, and that's all the lights in. All right, so here's the main part of the harness. It has a fuse on it, our positive, the negative, two waterproof connectors on this side to connect these wires over here. I just ran it up behind, or up on the firewall there where that big wire loom already runs across the factory. Ran it all across over here to the brake booster. Where here we have two more waterproof connectors. Plug in this side. And down here, you probably won't be able to see it, but uh, right here laying on the steering shaft, that's the wire we ran all along the frame rail, plugged everything in along the driver's side. Then we still have our one here for this that plugs into that red one down there. So we get all this plugged together and zip tied up. And then the last thing you need to do is, uh, of course, wire it to a switch. Okay, so I just ran the wire up from the center front light we installed. Brought it up here beside the radiator, zip tied it. Radiator support down below. Brought it up here along with this fender light that we already had. Turn my wires over. My connections are right there. But the wire ran all the way up across with the main wire loom to the battery side. Over here, of course, we already had all of our wires ran. Just put them down underneath the fuse box. Around the battery. Then right there are all of our main connectors for the driver's side. Of course, our positive with a fuse and our negative that has to be wired into a switch yet. Other than that, rock lights are all done. So here we are with our LJ. We did the red, white, and blue theme. There were the uh, grill lights. Red, white, and blue package, they already offer them that way. There's red on the left, white, middle, of course, blue on the right. There's three LED pods that sit down in there, they're magnetic. Take a peek in here. See my dirty radiator. It's cleaned really bad. There's your LED little pods that sit down inside there. Magnetic stick right to that frame. And then the rock lights, I did red in the front. See so one in the center, right under the radiator. And one in each wheel well. For the red. And then three in the center, but I did all white. And of course blue in the rear wheel wells. And one blue one will be in the center between your gas tank and trailer hitch for me because I have an LJ. That's how they came. I think it looks pretty slick. When you go to DCS and order lights, you can specify just a solid color for everything, or you can do different colors for different areas and for that you go under custom like I did. I just select your custom and then the comments description you tell them what you want. I just specified I want the front three red, middle three white, and the back three blue to go with the red, white, and blue grill lights. 
that it perched at the same time. I think it looks really good. Alright, that concludes this video of DCS grill and rock lights for the LJ with the red, white, and blue theme that I chose. I really like it, I think it looks pretty awesome. Comment below, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. Take care. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.